Hello and welcome to another Amstrad game review. Today I'm going to play Grand Prix Driver and this was a request by John Gage on Amstrad uh, uh, on Amstrad on YouTube. I'm going to be playing it on the Amstrad of course. Um, he has done his own review of this. I'll put a link to his channel in the description box. Yeah he's done his own review to this so he knew what he was letting me in for but I can't really complain because I did make him review C5 Clive which to this day is the funniest review I've ever seen in my life and it still makes me laugh now but um, yeah I can't crack on with this so this was released in 1984 it was the same year the Amstrad came out actually it was released by Britannia Software and that name rings a bell. Um, I can't remember what it was. I've seen something of theirs recently. But I, I can't remember, like I said, what it was. But I do remember thinking, wow, that's shit. So, I mean, already I've not got high hopes. Right, so, object of the game is to be first home. You've got to pass 30 cars. The fastest driver can cross the line in 10 minutes. So it's not a quick game then. Um, don't go too close to the edge of the track or you may spin off and crash. And the fact it says you only have three lives makes me think I'm going to need every one of them lives. So let's have a look. Wow. Well, that's bright. Um. Yeah, that's that's very bright. Jesus. Ooh. Okay, well, that's fabulous. What? Ten seconds in and I'm dead. Thing is, when you lose a life on this, you just get plonked straight back into the game at the same speed that you left it, so you don't get a chance to react. So let's try again. Right, so, I mean, the colours are very garish. There's no attempt at realism. Um, I think, in fact, Britannia Software have just invented new colours, never before seen by man. Um, the controls are okay. It's... It's a bit slow to move. The collision detection's a bit... Shit. It's shit, basically. The animations, they're jerky, so you can't tell. You, you think you've got room to get past the car and then it'll jump out in front of you. And you've got, see, you haven't even got time to move to the side. I do like the way background moves left and right as you're steering you know it scrolls nicely it's just a shame there's no bloody background to speak of it's just shred blocks in it and sometimes you don't even have to touch the car on the edge of the track and you've lost a life and sometimes you appear to crash right into the car and you don't lose a life so there's just no I don't know what's going on but also, if you look at the timer, I mean, those aren't seconds to start with, but I, fuck off. As the game goes on, it just gets faster and faster. So not only have Britannia Software invented new colours, but they do a bit of time travel in the spare time. They should have concentrated their efforts on that, really, instead of making games, I think. So, I mean... Oh, it's, it's fucking shit, this game. It's why you'd play it long enough to see if you can pass 30 cars, I don't know. See, I've been playing it a minute. Well, I say a minute. You know, with a bit of time travel, it might be four days. I wouldn't be surprised if the police come knocking at my door because nobody's seen me for three weeks. Because I've just been sat here playing this. Been put in a trance and brainwashed by the bright colours and the time travel. 
I mean, who knows what day it is anyway? Who cares? Right, so I've passed a grand total of no cars. Oh, oh, oh. It's terrible. The graphics are blocky and crap. The colours garish. Collision detections crap. I mean, the sound effects. Well, I mean, listen to it. I wouldn't have thought a Formula One car would be the hardest sound to replicate, but. This sounds, honest to God, this sounds like interference. I was, had my headphones on and I'd taken my headphones off thinking it was them crackling at first and cutting out. No, it's this, it's shit. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of racing games, but, you know, I can appreciate good games like Chase HQ and that. I mean, Oh my god, I'd even prefer Outrun to this. This is shockingly bad. And once you've done this review, I don't think I will ever pick it up again. Not, It's not even one of those games that it's so bad it's good. It's just, it's a load of gash, quite honestly. So, to summarise, graphics are shit, sound is shit, Colours, shit. Playability's shit. Controls are okay. And the whole idea is shit. It's past 30 cars, why don't they just do, you know, complete so many laps in whatever time? This is just a terrible idea. It goes on for too long. It's not a very playable game at the best of times. So... I think on that note, I'll end this review here. So thanks very much for watching. If you are still watching. If you're still able to watch and your retinas have not been scorched clean off your eyeballs. I'm going to lie down now in a darkened room for three days. If you don't hear from me in three weeks, call the police. Thanks for watching. See you now. Try.